<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Stitching You and More Podcast 2.0. I'm Amanda, your co-host, also known as Little Panda 518 around the interwebs. And I'm Anna, your other co-host, also known as Anna Banana Knits on Instagram and Anna Banana 26 on Ravelry. And this week we should actually have things right here. Um, so last week, or two weeks ago, we had a fantastic time recording. <laughs> Best time ever. Um, we went to edit, and editing was another story. Um, a lot of things that should have been edited <laughs> out and weren't. Well, and Chris told me I'm not allowed to say anything that looks like a butthole. This <laughs> week. Oh. So we went to edit on the iPad after we recorded last week, and apparently my iPad is a baby iPad, and but didn't work. It didn't want to work because it had the original video file, the video file that was edited, and then it wanted to download a copy of the down of the edited version to upload. Bunch of technology mumbo jumbo basically didn't work. So you guys got the non-edited version. Yeah, we had a cute title sequence. It I mean, was it so was cute. amazing. I was like, we look legit. We look like we know what we're doing. Had some not. We had some awesome photos to share and to pop up. So yeah. apologies that we said throughout the recording that pictures would show up and whatnot, but they didn't. So we're sorry. sorry. But anywho, this is a knitting podcast. So let's get on to some knitting. We are going to start with our Mischief Manage section this week. Yes. And this is the All Anna section because I didn't mis- I didn't manage any mischief. I have a phone. This is my Katie shawl. That looks amazing. Literally just wove in the last end a couple hours ago. But this is it in all its glory. No idea. It's I can't tell what I'm showing. So Okay, it's in view. You're good. Yay. Isn't it, it like so? Can both peek around. Yeah, it's so pretty. So pretty. The only thing I don't like, love, 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 is I wet spliced right here, and you can kind of see where I like wet spliced, especially like when the light shines oh. through. You can totally tell where I did it. That's okay. Though. And I didn't even use spit. I was really good and used just water. Yeah, I probably would have used spit. Well, I was in public and people were looking oh. at me, so I was like, no. I it still works. I had a spray bottle near me. But it's so pretty. It is so pretty. I love it. It's so comfy. It's a little warm, so I'm actually going to take it off. Yeah, it is a little warm. So um, it's We skipped we skipped spring and went straight to summer. Yeah. That's Arkansas. Welcome to Arkansas. Yay. We're warm, so we have the fans on because it's like 80. <laughs> Our producer is <laughs> shivering in the background. She's wrapped in wool. She's good for now. Yeah. And then I also have... A hoe, Yay. which is funny to say. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're not a hoe. This you have a true. hoe. This is true. I have a hoe. Also known as a half object. Do, do, do. This is a sock, obviously. I'm glad I explained that. Yes. It is for my mom for Mother's Day. I only have one done. She has more than one foot, so I'm going to have to get on that. <laughs> um, but it is just a vanilla sock. I don't really use a pattern most of the time. I do a two by two rib. I did a rounded toe, which I like. And then I do a fish lips kiss heel. Which is my favorite heel. I am, I like it a lot. I like how quick it is. Yes. I'll and talk then, more about that later. Yeah, it's super, super quick. Easy to memorize too. But the rounded toe is called Rounded Toe Recipe by Jane Bass Designs and it is free on Ravelry and I will pull it off so you can actually see it because actually I don't like the wedge toe. I don't and I like And this one didn't get as round as they usually but I like how round the toe is. I like a good round toe. I might have to try that because I don't I don't like when it's like decrease yeah. and then straight across. Yeah. It's super duper easy to do and easy to memorize and so yeah I, that's my and the Yarn is Knit Picks Chroma Twist Fingering in the Red Velvet Colorway. It's Gradient. I love the Gradient. I love the Gradient, too. So, I was doing through this, and I was like, it's not doing anything. <laughs> and it looked different in this, the hank, but yeah, it, when it did start to gradiate, it, it really did it, and I like it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, and I had to use your baby foot <laughs> sock blocker, because I have tiny, or giant feet. But it's so. pretty. And my sock blockers are pretty awesome. They're by Knitting Left. 
You can find them on Etsy and Instagram. Yes. Um, they are awesome. Yeah. I have no foes. It's been a bit of a week for me. I have gotten a lot of knitting done this week, though. Yes. I just haven't finished anything. So I guess we are now ready to enter Once the Ready Whips. So I'm going to start this one, and we're going to start with this. So this is an unknown yarn. Um, I purchased it on the Yarn Crawl 2017. I bought it at one of the stores in Eureka Springs. I think it's Hardcastle Folk Arts, I believe is the store we were at. Um, the, sh the store owner's mom had been experimenting with some dye and they had it out and um, everyone that I had told the story of why I purchased this yarn kind of laughs at me and thinks I'm crazy. Um, so my hair was this color last fall because it's pretty freaking awesome. And I saw this yarn and I'm like, it has to be a hat. So like I immediately walked over, grabbed up the skein, didn't really pay attention to the weight of a yarn because you know why would you pay attention? It's an to important that? detail. Who's gonna? Yeah. So I mean, just just look at the color of this hat with like, my hair. Perfect. Like, I know, there are other people I'm sure who coordinate their knits to their hair color. Of course. So yeah, it's unknown yarn, but it was all hand dyed. It is a lace weight. And I'm knitting a sock head hat. But it's so pretty. <laughs> I noticed that you made the choice to give up on that ribbing. Yeah. I, <laughs> I don't blame you. I gave up on the ribbing far before it hit the four inches of the sock head hat calls for. But I'm not a person that folds the brim of my I don't hat. either. And I did the four inches on mine. And so I, mine was just extra slouchy. But then mine got attacked by moths or something. Oh, so. That's always sad. But the other reason that I decided not to do the full of four inches is this is lace weight, so it's meant to, to be a summery hat. Yeah. So I don't need any extra warmth because, hello, Arkansas, we hit 100 degree days. We're supposed to hit it at 90 like this week. Yeah. Thursday, 90. We completely skipped spring, y'all, but welcome to Arkansas. Yay. So, yeah, this if is. If you don't like the weather, just wait 30 minutes. Yeah. So I am using, and this is also the cool thing. So. This is one of the tips from my in my Haya Haya interchangeable sock set. So it's a size two, but I'm using one of the regular cords, so I don't have to use the adapter. And so mm. not using the adapter for the sock set, it actually gives me the four inch tip. Nice. So I believe this is actually twelve a twelve inch circular. Circular. Oh, nice. Which is amazing for hats. Yeah. But if I use any of my other needle tips with this cord, it is going to be closer to 16. 16 inches. Which, I mean, is still okay to knit a hat, but depending on your stitch count, is a bit tight. Yeah, because it can get very... Yeah. Trying to navigate those stitches around. I'm so, knitting. I have a feeling I may just be knitting a lot of hats on this US, too. Okay. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> And maybe not lace weight, all of them. Yeah, maybe not lace weight because I don't think I'm going to be crazy enough to knit another sock head hat in lace weight. Yeah, because you, you know, with a sock head hat, I'm supposed to knit for like nine inches before you hit decreases. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how this goes. But I mean, the, the little cake is so cute. Like a and little, little ball of fire. The tag said that it was like over 400 yard, like it's almost a 500 yard skein. Yeah, you get a lot with lace weight. And it's so like that's the plus. But You're I mean, gonna have plenty for that. You can make a pom pom, a lace weight pom pom. Oh. I'm sure that won't look bad. Oh, I'm sure that. Will, yeah. I'm sure it'd be very voluminous. So it's in a bag that I made. Beautiful. This Beautiful. was. This was probably around the very first round of bags I made getting back into sewing so there's that all right so now it's your turn so that means you got to put down a sock and i'll pick up my sock well, while you talk but <laughs> this is what i'm going to show because oh, it is, is technically a whip the second sock to go with the first sock so you know that is a whip that and it's yeah that coming along luckily my mother has like child feet so it doesn't take long. I only knit on that one at work. And this past week, I had to do actual work at work. So I'm not adulting thing. I know. God, people. I work in the kitchen, and they, they get mad if they don't get fed. Yeah. It's just dumb. 
I like, agree. Suck it up. Who needs to eat lunch? These people, apparently. <laughs> For a disclaimer, I work with adults with intellectual disabilities, and I do feed them. I promise. <laughs> they do get fed. From yummy and I love them. I don't torture them. And yummy food, I hear. Yeah. Some of the things that you've made. Well, I try. Okay, so my second whip is also a sock. And I don't know why I started knitting on that. So I'm just going to kind of talk and kill some time and get to the end of the row. So I'm not a crazy podcaster that shows you a sock when I'm in the middle of a row. But I can tell you about the yarn. So this is Cascade Heritage Prints. Um, The ball band is somewhere in my living room. I was then trying to look at yarn. cats are tired. Yeah, the cat's like running away with my ball bands if I don't get them shoved all the way down in a bag quick enough. See, so the cat will just run away with the ball of yarn. Well, and then he'll make like trip wires because he'll run it around <laughs> things, which we have no joke walked in our front door and there'd be like a bunch of strings <laughs> of yarn because he would run from one end with it, wrap it around the dining room table, go back, <laughs> wrap it around something else. So, I have one cat who is our only female pet. She's the only one that goes after my yarn. And I wasn't feeling good the other night, and I was laying on the couch, and the next thing I see, she is up on the table next to our couch with a ball of my Leon Alexander hanging (gasps) in her mouth. No! Yeah. Yeah. So, I told her to spit it out, and she quickly did, and then ran to the other end of the house, and I didn't see her for a while. (laughs) Well... Poor baby. So I was um, I was looking online like a couple minutes before we started podcasting because I was trying to find the colorway, and then that's probably the only time you'll ever hear me say is why are there so many darn Colors. colorways of this <laughs> yarn? Because I couldn't find the name of the colorway. But I will try to look for it, and I'll put it in the show notes. It's pretty. It is very pretty. It's definitely my colors. Yes. This was originally supposed to be a sock for me. And then Wednesday evening, we had a little bit of a scare, and we spent about five hours in the emergency room with my mom. We yeah, see, and the last time we podcasted, I had been in the emergency yeah. room. It's like well, and we were sitting in the like emergency a weekly tradition. <laughs> we were sitting in the emergency room, and I told mom that you know we just got to stop this because this is now three people within two weeks. It just gives us something to talk about (laughs) on here, you know. Yeah, so out of our friend group, three people within two weeks had spent time in the ER. Yeah. So by the time we made it up to the ER, well, I had been working on these at work that day, and I had managed to get through the heel. So I am working on the vanilla is the new black heel. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Um, So I kind of show you. But it goes to a point. So, there's the heel. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Amanda, I know you told me to, t- to tell you when I got to the heel and we would kind of sit down together. Maybe on the next sock. <laughs> um, she made it to the heel, <laughs> BT Dubs. Yeah, BT just, Dubs made it to the heel. Just went past. The, the. So, I got the heel done and I was, I had, I was almost done with the decreases when we got to the emergency room. And then I knit the entire... All of this, the foot, sitting in the emergency room with mom. And so when we got home, well, the next day, of course, because I did not go to work because I was not going to work on four hours of sleep. I tried this on and I'm like, I don't think I can wear this heel. So we have said before, I have baby feet. And my heels are very er rounded, I guess. I don't, I don't know. All heels are rounded. Well... She has a small heel. There's too much fabric back here. Because, like, it literally comes to a point. Yeah. See, and I think that would work for me because I have a big heel. I have big foot. Well, see, and Mom, um, so yoga has worked some. So across here, I'm not very deep. But, so I have too much fabric at my heel. So I had Mom try them on, and they fit Mom perfectly. So these have turned into Mom socks. Even though they're my perfect colors, but that's okay. I love my mommy. She did give you life. Yeah. So that you could find your perfect colors. So I can knit her socks. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I do, um, I only followed the pattern for the heel. It's my typical 64 stitch sock because it was going to be for me. I did a twisted one by one rib. 
Um, I typically do 72 for mom, but because of how this heel is formed, mom can still get it on her foot, and it's not too tight. Yeah. So, these will be mom socks. Um, I don't necessarily think I'll do another pair with the specific heel anytime soon. I mean, I at least have to knit it one more time so mom has a pair of socks. But I'm just yeah, you better lose a foot. <laughs> yeah. Well, she already can't feel one of them, so. Who needs a sock on a foot you can't feel? Right. Um, that is a totally joking, not meant to offend anyone out there. Sorry. Um, but, I mean, the heel is incredibly it is, gorgeous. It is so pretty. It's prettier when it's stretched out. Yeah. Like, and you can really kind of see the details it's there. It's super pretty. It is very pretty. But, like Anna said earlier, she uses the Fish Lips Kiss heel, and that is the heel that I've used on every pair of socks since my first sock, because I fell in love with the heel, and that's, I, it's my go-to, I have it memorized, I can literally knit that heel in about 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah, it's super quick. I either use that one or I do Flegal heel, which is a little more time consuming, but it is also very This easy. heel took me so long. I knit on the heel for two days while I was at work. Yeah. Because it's a lot of increasing stitches. So I, you know, I've got 32 stitches on each needle. Well, when you get to the heel and you've increased all the way out, I have 64 stitches just on the one needle. So, I mean, that's 96 stitches all the way around. And that's kind of like the flagel heel because on one, one needle you are increasing. Because so on one, your back needle, your stitches will go whoop, and, but you're still working in the round. Yeah. And then you go to shaping your actual heel and you're just working back and forth. Yeah, so not giving out too much of the secret sauce, but I mean, you increase all the way out and you're knitting all the way around. So, I mean, those rows get long. Yeah. And the only part you go to working back and forth is when you do the, de when you decrease back down. So it's a lot of stitches for a lot of rows. Yeah. So, I mean, it took a while. It's gorgeous. I just don't know if it's necessarily a heel I'll knit again. Well, besides... Well, it's, like, it's like a patterned version of Flegal Heel then. Yeah. Because Flegal Heel doesn't have all that fancy stuff going on. It's pretty. Mom will have some awesome socks out of it. So that is what else I'm working on. All right. My next whip. It's so exciting. It's so pretty. I want to steal it. You cannot. I'm going to stretch it out so it actually shows me. It's so pretty. And you're catching up to me, darn it. I know. I am doing Exploration Station, and I am in the brioche section. That orange so, is not... That orange is so much brighter I know, in person. Yeah, it's... Here, if you go closer... It's all very much brighter in person. No, it's not... Not catching its true essence. Y'all, this is like a super neon, neon orange. This, it's all like a neon shawl. And there's my... It's brioche in, but that's a good... Well, you can do it from down this section. That's my other... That's like my favorite color in the whole thing. It's so pretty. So, I am using... I'll do it in the order from the beginning. A, this is... Twisted Owl, I always want to call it something weird. Twisted Owl Fiber Studio. It is Lux 150 sock. It is an MCN, which I decided did not need to be on my feet. Um, but there's like 600 yards of it, so it could probably still go on my feet. Um, color B. Oh, let me here. I'll hold that up. That's A. Let me show it. Keep going the wrong direction with everything. Yeah. So that's A. Color B is Leon Alexander Yarns. Exactly. It is the, that's what is the base? I think it's Countess. Countess. Fingering. Um, this is, the colorway is Loki. It is an exclusive for the Twisted Pearl and Conway. I have a skein of this too, and I don't know what it wants to grow up and be yet. But this is gorgeous. Oh. This is like my very favorite. Like, so pretty. Love it. It's gorgeous. Um, color C is Hedgehog Sock Yarn. And not showing up good. The colorway is Zephyr. It's just kind of white with a bunch of speckles. Neon speckles. Very neon speckles. It's very pretty. I like it a lot. And then D is Hedgehog Sock in the colorway Anemone. 
And that's the neon orange that doesn't show up. Oh, well. there, there we. Well, oh, it, was, well, it, was, it was going for a second. It was going. It was blowing out the camera, so the camera auto adjusted. Yeah, it's neon orange, but then it's got like the, look at the colors it makes. The pink, <laughs> and it's got like some little green and blue speckles, like you can see from back here. That hot pink. So it is gorgeous. I the love color it. of that yarn screwed up the color of the camera. I know we're like green now. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Oh, I didn't say this earlier. So maybe this will help fix it. This is a drawstring bag by my friend um, Andrea, who has the Cat Lady podcast. And that was just a bag she made me because she's an awesome person. Oh, my bag that my exploration station is in is so pretty. It was sewn by this one right here. And look how cute the lining is. Isn't that cute? I have, a so pretty. I have an awesome project in my bag like that, but I haven't worked on it yet. So. so Maybe I'll work on that project this week just so I can shut off my bag. Yeah. And my sock project bag is teacups. Little teacups with little birdies. Yes. They're precious. And they really, it well coordinates with the socks. And that was so near too. Yes, it was. So I am also working on the exploration station. And last week I showed you guys, or last time we recorded, I showed you guys all of these colors caked up. And Miss Anna Banana has caught up with me because I had stuff to do this morning. And I I haven't gotten to do I don't, well, I'm not that caught up to you because you're through your, you've done your second repeats on this, haven't you? Because yes. I've just done the one repeat of each so far. So I still have to go through and do them again. I but I counted because it said you're supposed to have like 16. 16. And I have nine. So. I... I am working on the third repeat of the brioche, but I had therapy earlier today. So the only knitting I got done was about the 30 minutes I had to knit in therapy today. Yeah, Cause you got stuck in traffic. I did. Yeah, she's <sighs> like, I'm on my way home. I'm like, okay, I'll be over there soon. Cause it's like 30 minutes. And then like 30 minutes later, she's like, I'm on the other side of home right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, good thing I'm hanging out with my husband right yeah. now. I brought him lunch. and So, this is nice. my exploration station. And this is knit solely out of Leon Alexander yarn. It's so pretty. And the yarn doctor himself commented on our first podcast. We're famous. Because I apparently had gotten two of the colors switched. Mixed, switched around. So, when I saw his comment... Because, um, you know, he has these awesome yarn labels. I love those yarn I labels. I should have probably dug out already. But. Well, you know, what else? You do what you do. So, when I saw his comment, and I'll show you guys this closer. Um, so, the cliche is this. I had this one right. It was the black and white right here. And then the Parisian Jordan. Jardine. Jardine. Jardine is this awesome we'll mess ask here. our French speaking friend how to actually pronounce that since she did tell us what it meant in the comments yeah. on the last video. And then it was these next two colors that I had backwards. So this time they're going to be correct. So the in his eyes is I think that one. This one. Well no. I can't tell they're both they're very similar. <laughs> okay, the one with the rust is my A color. Okay. So I'll come up here. So this little itty bitty spot up here is my A, which is the one that has the rust color. This is the in his eyes. So that's my A. And then the Bonjour Madame is this one. So those are the two that I had switched last time if you were interested in his colors. And, and you should be because they're gorgeous. I'm jabbing myself with needles. Okay, so this is the front side. So I've made a bit of a change. Because, you know, why not change a Stephen West pattern and make it even more, a little, a little bit more crazy? So he I'm. to prove. I'm also in the brioche here. And you guys can kind of tell here. Um, so when I started the brioche, my darker color was appearing on top. Where I thought I had had my colors to where the lighter color would be on the top. And that's what I did. I, I since my lighter color was. C, everywhere the pattern says to use B in that bri brioche section, I use C. So, well, I was just knitting it according to pattern, and I didn't realize until I was a good ways into the brioche that my lighter color was showing up on the back. And I love the back 
Yeah. So much more because it just kind of it makes it pop a little bit more. Yeah. So, so when I hit halfway, which back here you guys can kind of tell, I switched the colors of my brioche right in through here. Which I think is like a. It's not like a. It's not that noticeable since they're variegated. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a fade. So I did half of my brioche with the dark on top and the white on the back, and then the the last part of my brioche I'm doing the opposite. Like add some more color, why not? Yeah, there you go. So that is. I'm also knitting these on my Haya Haya's because I love my Haya Haya's. And she has a snitch stitch yes. marker. That my sister made when she was here. And she should make me one. Well. So the next time Sis and I get together, we're most likely doing more stitch markers because she had so much fun at my house making stitch markers. I was sicker than a dog and I literally just laid on the floor because like I could not move when she was here. And she sat and made probably 50 stitch markers. Well. And she fell in love with it and next thing I know she's on Amazon ordering her own jewelry pliers, her own jump rings, and some charms to make some more stitch markers. Nice. So the next time we get together, we're going to make some more stitch markers. I need some. I'm sure we can help you out there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she made some with my beads anyways. <laughs> I brought beads over here to make stitch markers. Didn't make them, left them here. They're magically stitch markers yes. now, so. They're very nice. Mission accomplished. So that is all of my. Minimal effort on my part. <laughs> that is all of my whips. We actually should have done this earlier when we were talking about, when we were in Mischief Manage. But our producer, also known as Nana to some little girls that watch our show, um, was told that she had to make a special appearance on the podcast because last time she could be heard but not seen. So bring in Mommy. This Mommy's is here. You gotta get in there. You gotta get in like this. There's Mommy. <laughs> So, and she is wearing her Jamie shawl. Yes. Yeah, yes, I'm wearing my Jamie shawl because I'm cold. But it is gorgeous. It's so pretty. It is still not, it's like so blown out. Yeah. It is gorgeous. It's huge here. It is. Let's hold it across. Yeah, it is. Go oh, there it's more true to color. Yeah. I love it. So it's a, it's a Karen cake out of all these beautiful teals. It's the Jamie Shawl by the Stitch and Sisters of Cozy Up Designs. It's so soft. And it's a, I mean, it's a Karen cake, so it's part acrylic. Yeah. But just that little bit of wool. It's got a little bit of wool. Yeah. It is so soft. Mm. And it's I mean, all blanket it's, up in it. We could all get <laughs> under can, this. We can here. Here, there's this our <laughs> thumbnail. Yeah. We're all yeah, wearing the shawl. <laughs> get it over my arm. There. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> This isn't weird at all. <laughs> Not at all, but we all fit under mom's shawl. And just imagine this bad boy when it's blocked. When it's blocked, it yeah. is going to be, it's going to be a schlanket. Because that is. It is going to be a schlanket. And I still have mine on the needles, but I haven't shown it because I haven't watched it. And I haven't cast mine on yet, but I have printed off the pattern, so that counts for something. That, right. is, a, that is one step in the. It's a step. Well, so, see, I got to thinking. I think I'm going, I think I'm going to make another one. Because this one was so much fun. And we have enough of those Karen cakes lying around. You can make them one in every color. <laughs> so, um, I also haven't worked on mine. Nana. Nana. Because I was, um, I actually decided I was going to wait for mom to finish and then I was going to use her printed pattern. Because why print two copies? Right, that's just wasteful. It that's is. killing a tree right there. We just had Earth Day not that long ago. My exploration station. <laughs> Listen, the thing about Exploration Station, because you know they always, put it down. they always say that you're a, you're either a process or a project knitter, depending. And with this, I normally would say that I'm a project knitter because I always want what I'm making. And this, I'm probably both because it is so fun to knit. And this is the first time that I've ever brioched. I know, and see, and I think like he's he's got it spaced really well because just when I'm about tired of working on wedges it's time to brioche so yeah, and I didn't find the brioche very hard um it's really easy everybody it looks super intimidating and I think it's like a lot of the I was super intimidated it's a lot of the it. terms I think too well and I had so I have the pattern right here and like I was trying really hard to like read this and I'm like okay I'm gonna try this and it just wasn't looking right and I'm like I don't know what I'm doing so I had done an entire row and then had to rip out the entire row because I did the whole row wrong 
silly yarn overs. I, I always have to do a little refresher video whenever well, and I start Brit because I don't do it that often. But it is really, really easy. And our friend Amanda, um, who's Indigo Lilith on Instagram, I'm sure she wouldn't care. No. Go find her on Instagram. She's awesome. She has an Etsy store, so I'm, not, I'm sure her Instagram's out there anyway. Yeah. Um, she hid at the exploration station like cast on and cast off before we even had a chance she did to it in take five, it. She did it in five minutes. Yeah. Like, she's speeding at that thing. Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to kick the table. I had to readjust. And, uh, yeah, I'm still slogging away on it. And so, she sent me a video who, um, Kristen of Volenvine and the Yarngasm podcast, she had done a tutorial for her Oracle shawl. And it was actually her video that I watched for the brioche tutorial. I watched Stevens, and um, he says brioche instead of brioche so the whole time I'm like am I saying it wrong or is he saying it wrong I mean he wrote the pattern but he's also the English I don't believe is his native language either I thought he was from here he's from Amsterdam I thought he was from here and he moved there I don't know this is a weird discussion to have I'm gonna have, I may to, have to google I'm gonna google him I'm gonna have to google Stephen West I'm doing it right now no I'm not I'm in the sock right now <laughs> now I'm doing it <laughs> because um, by golly oh speaking of phone so, okay, so my therapy place is really close to the yarn store, which is a little bit dangerous sometimes. And I did go to the yarn store today, but I did yeah. not buy yarn. I was quite proud of myself. Oh, because I couldn't do that. I was picking. I was picking up some fabric from a friend who lived in Conway, and it just made sense to me there. But what was really cool is I walked. If I can hit the right button on my phone. Born in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay, so he is from here. He, How did he end up in Amsterdam? Who knows? Who cares? That is a conversation for another time. I'm going to talk about it right now. <laughs> so I walked into, and Mom nor Anna have seen this picture. Haven't even told them about this until now. I walk into Yar to Twisted Pearl, and this is the picture I see. <gasps> oh, our bags. Oh! oh! Our bags that we have are now hanging on the checkout counter that is at the store. Super it's neat. Cool. Uh, and I, I should have taken a picture of it, but I was just getting ready to walk out the door. Leon Alexander Yarns has his own spot on the wall now. <gasps> oh! So he's not just on that table or on top of the shelves like he used to be. He has his... He, I mean, it's probably a good, like, three feet wide from nice. floor to ceiling of Leon Alexander. And I want to go buy it all. Oh. <sighs> I want to do a so faded sweater with all of his yarn. That would be That's gorgeous. what I want to do. And I would love if I f if they have any more of your, the cliche, that's the black and white mm -hmm. one. That's a good starting point. It really is. And then work from there, so. It's definitely not his, like, typical color, but it's. No. But it's really nice. Yeah, because it's. His typical color is a lot more color. Was like more Loki. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was my favorite in that whole shawl. And I'm really thinking in the next section where I'm supposed to stripe C and D. I think so. Yeah, C and D. I'm going to do B and D. So it'll Ooh. be that orange and then the Loki. Because Loki has oh, a little bit of that orange. That would be amazing. Because I just want to use more Loki. Because it's so nice to knit with. Oh, yeah. I need to figure out what mine wants to grow up and be. Because I don't a know. Present yet. for me after he's up <laughs> Yeah, because it was definitely an exclusive color for the Twisted Pearl. And it's gorgeous. Yes. Oh, it's so pretty. And I just realized you didn't talk about them when you. You have something over there that you haven't talked about. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. For Bigfoot here. So she, <laughs> last time she showed off her knitting left sock blockers, and I didn't have mine. So this week I have mine. I actually, these are the ones that I won on Instagram, and I never won anything, so that was the most exciting thing ever. So, I wanted the state of Arkansas, because that's where we live, and I'm a nerd like that. Oh, that way it shows up right. So, that's what I got. Um, I got huge ones, because I have giant feet, and so I had to use her sock blocker to show my mom's sock off. But, yeah, these are... Um, first ever wooden sock blockers I've ever had. The second pair of period of sock blockers I've ever had. And I love them. They're amazing. And when I got home after you said they smelled good, I sniffed mine. And they do smell good. And 
I happen to be on Instagram because I kind of live on Instagram. Who doesn't? And she has Harry Potter ones. I know. We need them. I tagged you in that. She needs yes. to get a big size. So I'm thinking about getting the bigger, because I do need a bigger size, because I knit socks for Marmy and Aline, and they don't fit on my sock blockers. And I think I'm going to get the Harry Potter ones in the bigger size. I want some Harry Potter ones. I do have... And I want some cat ones, because I'm a cat lady. I do have some stash enhancement. <gasps> well, it's not actual stash, but it is enhancement. Oh. So, we're kind of all over the place. We're kind of winging it again, if you guys can't tell. That's what we do. So, we went to Yarn Candy... In Little Rock? In Little Rock last Last, week. last Saturday. Last Saturday. So, it was our friend Jen's birthday. So, happy late birthday. Jen Weasley! Hashtag the witch that lived. Yes. So we celebrated her birthday, and we started at Yarn Candy in Little Rock, and Candy is amazing. She's the owner there. I used to think, because I didn't know that the lady who owned it was named Candy, and it's spelled Candy with a K, and I thought, I hate it when people just misspell words <laughs> to be cute, and then later I felt like a jackass, because that's her name, so sorry. <laughs> My bad. And that's where she, um, Anna got the hedgehog, because you walk into Yarn I Candy. I think she's the only place in Arkansas that has hedgehog. And the first thing you see is, is hedgehog. hedgehog. A huge thing of hedgehog. It's the twirly towers. That yes. Spin. Oh, yes. they're so pretty. And we were walking around, and I think you were coming around one side, and I was coming around the other, because we were... We are kind of looking to what yarns would go. Because I did not have a good color D for my shawl. I thought I had one. And I did not have one. So I started knitting it into a wedge, and I didn't like the way it looked. So I, luckily that was on Friday. So Saturday we were going to go to the yarn store anyway. So I was like, well, I guess I'm going to have to buy some yarn. Yeah, shucks. Hate my luck. And then that orange was there, and I'm like, Anna, that. Yeah, and that was my stash enhancement, so I don't have to show it again because it's going to mess yeah. up the camera. <laughs> yeah. So. But I got one. Of, I used I used to have a black bracelet, and it was also a ruler bracelet that was made out of vegan rubber. Well, I wanted the leather one, so I upgraded. <laughs> you killed an animal this time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shaming her, but she <laughs> bought me one, too. I have the same one. Well, because we both had the rubber one, and yes. we were twinsies. And so we have to twin all the time. I was like, well, I'm not going to buy it. I don't have the money. I'm, I'm poor. So I just bought it for her. Yes. But the <laughs> cool thing is it comes in that cute little tin. Yes. I didn't bring and my... Oh, you brought your... I brought my tin. Because I didn't wear the bracelet. I didn't have that kind of thought, but I bought the tin. So it's a cute little round tin. It had stickers on it that say the name of the brand. But I put my Gryffindor sticker on it from our good friend Jen Weasley. Hashtag the witch that lived. Yes. And it is a notions tin now. It's like just perfect. I love it. Mine will probably turn into a notions kit too. Mine it's, is still It's in an my upgrade from the Altoids container yeah. that I had. So My tin is still floating in the bottom of my purse somewhere. Yeah. So. so, yeah, that was my stash enhancement that I had. Yeah, my hedgehog was mine. So, <sighs> yeah, so I. getting home today was a little bit crazy because it didn't even dawn on me that Toad Suck Days was in Conway today. And for all of y'all not in Arkansas, Toad Suck Days is not about a toad sucking on anything. No. Um, we have a dam in Conway that is called Toad Suck Dam, and it has a lot of historical meaning a, had something to do with people drink, like people drinking as they came down the river, which is one thing they still do. Yeah, but I mean, you, do you live in Arkansas if you don't go get drunk and float the Buffalo River sometime? That is true. I have only done that once. The first summer I lived in Arkansas, I actually haven't done it. So that's <laughs> really sad. I, I haven't done it. Um, so the first I've never been drunk on a body of water. A little bit of side note, quick story. So the first summer we moved to Arkansas after we graduated college, we didn't, neither one of us had a job for like six weeks. So we were living off savings from what we earned in college. And we went and floated. We did a two-day float down the Buffalo. And I think we had more alcohol in the community used than people <laughs> when we started out. So <laughs> that, that, that attracted some people, though. Um, a couple canoes had been rolled. Um, our canoe had been flipped, and my husband went after the cooler of alcohol. <laughs> Priorities. And we had sunk the paddle boat that we had taken. Yeah, it... What a trip. It was fun. Yeah. But that was like our summer welcome to Arkansas. Today is also free comic book day. I did not know that. I didn't go get a free comic book. 
It's also Cinco de Mayo, and do, 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 there do, might be some alcohol that's in this racist cup. Racist and offensive, and I shouldn't do things <laughs> like that. My bad. <laughs> we should have Mexican for dinner. Mm. It is Cinco de Mayo. Oh, that new restaurant's open. Yeah, new Mexican restaurant just opened down down our road. Yeah, and I've heard good reviews of it. Oh, and Marnie is getting a phone call. So with that, we are, I think, going to go ahead and wrap up. We didn't answer our owl mail. We didn't. We have our owl mail. That is right. Good thing you remember these. See, this is why I'm glad that I have a co-host now. Yes. Do you so have, I have it pulled up. Oh, look at you. So you our owl prepared. mail is from... I cannot say her username right. Um, I don't want to. Amaranti. Amaranti. Amanda, Amaranti. let's pronounce that name for us next time. Oh, well, I'm with, with the girls and they're doing <laughs> podcast. All right, mom is moving to another room to take <laughs> her phone call. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mama, we can still hear you. Loud and clear. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not a private conversation. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Amanda asked us a question. She said, what is the very first thing that you've ever knit? And if you still have it, would you show it on the podcast? Well, I do. I probably have it. I don't know where it is because I didn't dig it out. But the first thing I ever knit was a pair of, like, I'm going to call them fingerless gloves not really sure they qualify they were a square and i folded them in half and inside out and crocheted along the edge and skipped some spots for the thumb it's a glove but the cover is your hand and it is fingerless hence fingerless gloves it's i mean in the the very most abstract way it has lots of holes but it was the first thing i ever knit so that's what i did my drink's making me burp i do apologize southern comfort will do that to you um I do not have the first thing I knit or crocheted. I believe my sister has the first thing I crocheted, actually. Um, my sister and I, we learned to crochet by doing granny squares. And we were doing granny square dish cloths, and then we went to doing other forms of dish cloths that wasn't just a granny square. And we had given them, we made them out of cotton. We gave them to our grandma because she lived four doors down. And, you know, one can only have so many dish cloths. Yeah, yeah. So, we gave them to our grandma. How many dishes are you going to wash? Exactly. And then, three years ago, Mom and I had gone to... Aline was living with our grandparents at the time, my sister. And we had gone to Illinois for to do a craft show there for all of us. We were doing our whole multi-generational craft booth. We were going to have lots of fun. And come to find out, my grandma had never used any of the dish cloths. Aww. that we gave her and so she gave them back to us and she's like they were just too precious to use That's so we have sweet. this massive stack of cotton dish cloths and I believe they're all in my sister's crochet stuff which is in storage right now so they'll be back in Arkansas soon so I may once we get them out of her storage I may show them um, but the first thing I knit was probably some god-awful garter stitch scarf that probably had a million holes yeah those fingerless <laughs> gloves are like full of holes so and i didn't really understand that stocking it it's amazing that i could even do stocking it because it was back and forth so the fact that i mastered purling yeah mastered <laughs> purling was pretty impressive i guess but i didn't realize that stocking it curled so i'm like mm. oh what did i do wrong i didn't realize i needed like ribbing or something uh, so it worked so, and they don't, well, I mean, they're not, like, fancy. They don't have, like, a guess. They're literally just a square I folded in half, so. Hey, it worked. And I've never worn them because I was <laughs> like, oh, God, they look like shit. So, well, they've never been worn. They've never seen the light of day. Speaking of fingerless gloves, I have another whip that I just you remembered. You do, because you're test knitting. I'm test knitting, but I'm only, like, this far in. To the test knit that was supposed to take you like that? Yeah. To the test knit that I was supposed to cast on and cast off like, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's like, this won't take me any time at all. Yeah. She's not done with it. But if you actually... If I were to actually... If you actually it, knit something besides Exploration Station. But that's the whole thing with my sock. I could work on my sock at home, but... But that brioche should be calling my name. Yeah. So, you know. 
And I'm like, I'm getting kind of obsessed with brioche. I know. Well, and I showed you the brioche cow that I had. I have a brioche cow in progress that lives in my shame basket, which is aptly named because it has <laughs> whips from like seven years ago in it. Like, there's today. like literally like 20 rows of a fingering weight cardigan. Like 20 rows. Like I started it, worked 20 rows on it, stuck it in a basket, have not picked it up. It's been a long time. I'm mm -hmm. like, I've already decided something else to do with that yarn. So, so maybe you need to have a frogging party. I do need to have, there's dishcloths that I knit. I don't know how long ago that just need the ends woven in. Just sitting in the basket. We kind of do have a weaving end done fairy. Weaving and in. That is what I meant to say, fairy. Ooh, well, I need that. I needed that for my Katie <laughs> shawl. Nobody told me this. I uh, I haven't cast on, or I haven't woven any of the ends on my exploration station yet. And see, okay, so when I finished Katie, there was like seven gajillion ends because of all those minis. And I did not want to, I like, literally finished weaving them in today as I hate weaving in ends. So I figured on Exploration Station I would be smart, so I've been weaving in as I go. When I finish a section, I weave in the ends. Very nice. Because otherwise it will never get worn because I'll never want to weave in all those <laughs> ends. Yeah, I have nothing. Better, I'm just going to call them a fringe, which is what I considered doing on Katie. So. <laughs> But the Katie looks fantastic. I am very happy with the Katie. I love it. It was a fun knit. The eyeball stitch was really cool. Yes. I love learning new things when I'm knitting, like especially with I the told Chris that kind of looks like buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can find a butthole in anything. <laughs> the Walmart logo, that's that thing. That's, that's a butthole. I'm you. Okay, so maybe we have to make sure that Chris doesn't watch this. He didn't one. watch the first one anyways. <laughs> I told him I said that, so he's not going to sit and watch it. If it isn't a podcast about comic books, he's not going to watch That's it. That's true. So, and he's like, they're short. They're only like 15 minutes long. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. Knitting's more interesting. Yes. And which we haven't done too bad. You know, we're still under the hour mark this week. Yes. So I think we're doing good. Yes. Oh, and we do need to remind you, we still have a giveaway going. Yes. We are going to extend that until the next time we podcast. So that way you still have time to go join our group and enter. It's a simple, just answer the question. Yep. And then you'll be considered. So, Thank you. for the Tickled Pink ebook. Yes, Tickled Pink by Cece and Dami Almond. It's fantastic. And once I get something finished up, I'm pretty sure those socks are going on the needles. They're so cute. Well, because I want to knit stuff for this. And I want to do that bashful stripe shawl, too. That would be quite pretty. I know. <laughs> but I also have that Chrissy shawl I bought. Yeah, the Chr I'll be casting on the Chrissy shawl. Well, my Jamie shawl is already cast on. That's not. I'm my only, pattern's printed. I'm That's only it. about this far into the Jamie. Yeah. Probably six inches from top to bottom. I haven't even wound the yarn for it yet. And then I need to go stash diving and find yarn for my Chrissy shawl. And that's what I'm trying to do. And that's like the Chrissy shawl. I have my one color in mind. And then the second color, because it said it needs... It's, it's one gram, a hundred... It's a it's one skein of a hundred gram yarn. hundred gram like 50 skein. Grams. And then one skein, your secondary color is like 50 grams. And I, I'm, what I need to do, because I have my, my, sec, my main color picked out, and the secondary color I think I also have picked out, but it's leftovers from a pair of socks, so I need to weigh it and see if I actually have 60 or 50 grams. So, she... <laughs> <laughs> Did you think you were going to talk if you didn't have your mouth covered? Mom came walking into the kitchen like this. Because <laughs> she's still on the phone. So <laughs> Apparently uh, walking through like this means she's she not going to talk. talk. <laughs> okay. Whatever works. All right. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to see because that way it would be a very pretty... Because if I don't have... If that's not 50 grams, then I don't know what I'm going to use because they mm -hmm. kind of coordinate. We'll yeah. have to bring it over so you can weigh it. Yeah. Well, I have a scale at home. I just oh. need to buy a battery for it. So, that's kind of... It died. Oh. That's okay. Well, I think that yeah, that officially know. wraps all of us up. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can ramble. Oh. We did get rambled. We did, we we did, did ramble. get ramble. We did ramble. 
Yeah. We did ramble. We do. but, but sometimes it's <laughs> a butthole to you. Look, okay. I'm well. now being shown. Show me a butthole. Is it showing? That side, not as much. Okay. There's the front side. So, yeah, we will leave you with that. Image. Every podcast, I'm going <laughs> to gonna mention things that look like buttholes, apparently. <laughs> that is A-OK. Um, but I think we're going to wrap up here. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to see if this one will do some touch-ups on my hair. Yeah. And we may go eat Mexican for dinner. Because it's Cinco de Mayo, so you have to have Mexican. I mean, you have to. And I, I really have wanted to try out this new Mexican restaurant because if I opened up, what, it's like three, three, four blocks down the road? Yeah. I mean, it's super close because this town's tiny and the next town's tiny. Yeah. So I, like, I don't even think it's a mile from the house. So it's super close. That. So with that, keep on stitching, y'all.